uh, now that we have uh, performed uh, the conf basic configuration that we need to start using or uh, implementing ARA, uh, let us validate uh, the configurations that we have made so far. Okay, so what I have done is uh, in our case, I have created uh, a set few roles. Okay, uh, and uh, user IDs. Okay, so S40, what you see here is from uh, HANA system, S4 HANA and the ET that you see ET is here. These user IDs are in the ECC system. Okay, uh, and then we you, I used uh, the function IDs, I used the risk ID and then four risk IDs and the function IDs within those risks, risk IDs to create the roles and then assign those roles to the user, the user IDs, okay? So that when we run the risk analysis report, we'll get some info, you know, conflicts for these. In the uh, conflicts risk reports, we'll get these user IDs, okay? so. Let's go and check, for example, go to SU01 in S4 HANA system. And then let's take this user ID, for example, right? So you have the user ID here and the roles that we created assigned to that. Okay? These are two conflicting functions. So when we run the risk analysis report, this user ID should show up with the report, okay? That's the whole idea of what you're trying to validate. Okay, so that's what I did. Now, go back to GRC. And then execute the transaction. Okay. NWBC. Okay. Go to access management and click on user level. Okay, in the system, let's search and pick our S4 HANA system, for example. Okay, and the user ID that we want is S4 T search so you'll get the S4 T related uh, user IDs here and then let's pick one and then let's say formation level action level okay do we want the technical view and running foreground so if there are conflicts like the way we designed you should get the report here. So this, because we are getting the data in uh, the risk analysis reports, so the configuration that we made is working, okay? That's what it is. Now, as we move, go, you know, uh, move on with uh, this configuration, we'll also have, know how to create, we'll create mitigating controls and then mitigate the risks and we'll see how to do all of this stuff, okay? Uh, another thing what you could do is, uh, let's say uh, the post installation configuration, the, one of the steps that we did was for remediation view, okay? When we activated the old data services. So let's also verify whether the remediation view works in this case, okay? So click on foreground and it is working, okay? Because you get the data. If this old data service that we activated was not active, uh, let me see, show you what we are talking about, right? So if we go to uh, IWFND slash n slash IWFND slash main service underscore service transaction code, so the one that we are talking about was uh, 
this one grac w violation summary remediation service if this was not configured you won't get this output okay you will just get a blank screen white screen now you see here this is because this roles that we created in the backend system they are not maintained in uh, the BRM module okay in the access and the access control so it's that is why you have this so we'll come back to this again when we configure the BRM but right now you the, the point here is uh, the remediation we also is also working and it is working because we activated this for data service okay so we have now validated the configuration that we have done and uh, that you know and verified that you're getting the data and the configuration is fine 